Hey guys, everything new under the sun. Well, today I've got a little uh, Goodwill thrift store find. This is from Value Village. I've been looking for an 18 volt cordless vacuum for a while. I was looking at the Makita line, but the Makita line doesn't have uh, much uh, that actually has uh, a brush, a beater a bar on it. This one does. This is a Hoover Lynx cordless. Wind tunnel technology, as you can see. I've got some glamour so shots of it. Um, but it was just left at Value Village, and I had no idea if it worked or not. Of course, the problem with these is usually the battery. So I get to these, but this, uh, just a, a couple of statistics about this. This is called the Hoover Lynx Cordless Stick Vacuum, model BH50010. This is, uh, its original price is $190. Actually, its list price is $229. On Amazon, you can get for $191. Um, it boasts an interchangeable 18-volt lithium-ion. That's why I was interested about this one because I was thinking of converting it to 18-volt uh, Makita. It does have uh, the bagless canister on it. It's got a 12-amp motor, and the, the nicest feature is that it does have the beater bar. You need the beater bar for actual real cleaning. Any real vacuum has a beater bar on it. So it has this quite a nice switch, actually, but the switch is um, not the best. Um, so you've got two options. You've got the suction. Uh, or the suction plus the brush roll. So you can see kind of the options there that light up. And then you also have a battery capacity uh, meter. And uh, by the time I was done, I was getting about two bars on this. I'm, I'm charging the battery a bit more. And then you can look at the bottom. You can see the beater wire there. Now this is, I've not cleaned any of this yet. Um, it's got two wheels on it. It sort of does swivel. Um, you'll see in um, the, the video after this, the clip after this. Um, it does sort of swivel, not a huge amount. But it's quite light overall. We were looking for a, a battery operated solution, something you could just pick up and use for two minutes, not have to worry about dragging a plug around, finding an outlet, um, dragging the heavier unit around, and something that would just kind of uh, clean up daily messes versus your uh, more deep cleaning. And so this was a solution. We got this from Valley Village for $19.99. You can see the sticker on the back of it in some of the shots. And so here you can see the swivel, how much it swivels. It doesn't swivel a huge amount. But it's interesting, and like I say, this is a, this has good reviews on Amazon. It's an expensive unit, and to find uh, cordless vacuums with beater bars on them uh, is hard. You only find them in the more expensive units because it takes a lot more battery power, uh, etc., to actually run it. And uh, so it's nice to have a nice little option here. Uh, and this this will go right alongside our Neato robot vacuum. Um, and I think it'll uh, be really nice because this kind of cleans under things that the needle maybe doesn't get to and also cleans closer to the edge uh, which the needle has some trouble with um, so here's uh, do I have did I do a couple more of these lamb shots anyways it's pretty light pretty slender um, it is about four and a half feet tall I guess uh, something like that four feet tall um, and it fits nicely kind of behind a fridge you can see the sticker there in the shot it has literally two options, suction or suction plus a uh, brush. And the battery goes in the front. So I, I didn't get a charger with this at all. Um, I, I have to go back and see if that was there. I wasn't looking for it, so I didn't think to, to look for it. Maybe it was there along, along with it. I'll have to go back today. Um, but I was able to hack up uh, a battery charger. There you can see it by a, by a short bookshelf. What I did was I got my little hobby charger out, and I was trying to use that to charge it up. Uh, in, in the absence of the actual proper charger and uh, that wasn't uh, quite working. I was looking for the pinout as well. You can see the voltage there. It was showing 10 volts originally. There is another video of a guy uh, working on this battery. He took it apart and his was showing uh, 10 volts as well. I was able to eventually hook up um, an old Black & Decker wall mount low amperage charger which I wasn't using. I've got the high power charger for my Black & Decker 18 volt stuff. Um, but this was a kind of an 8 to 18 volt uh, charger, Black & Decker. And I basically took it apart and just used the, the clips to actually clip onto the metal. Um, and I charged up for a number of hours and then tried it. So here you can see me actually uh, trying it. Uh, I don't think you can re really hear anything. It kind of uh, flips on and off for a second. Uh, the voltage was still very low. You know, anything below 16.5 is, uh, you know, is a waste of time to try, really. I just wanted to see if it was actually making any difference. And I think in this case, it actually it actually was. So what I did then is I went ahead and I, I plugged it in and charged it overnight. It's only charging at um, 210 milliamp hours. 
Um, so it's not enough to really force the battery to, to overheat it. It's a real slow charge, um, but again, I, I want to see if it would take a charge to begin with. So um, this charger that it's on, the Black & Decker 18 volt, um, says about a nine hour charge. So here's the next morning. Um, we're gonna plug this in. You can see the battery level light up at the bottom there, and then you will be able to hear it turn on. You can actually hear when the brush comes on um, that the you know the, the 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 noise changes rather the volume changes and also you saw the battery indicator go down to one bar instead of two bars so it takes a quite a bit more amperage to actually run that beater wire which is expected um, and there you see the lights on the top for you switching between the suction only and the suction uh, plus the beater here you have a look at the actual beater bar on it again I've not cleaned any of this I just I don't I didn't know if this was a waste of money or not. I think now that I see that it is working and it seems to be functional after a long charge, um, I'll probably go ahead and, and get this cleaned up. Not for this video though. Um, but again, like I say, it, it's it's hard to find uh, one uh, cordless vacuum with a beta bar and that's the main thing. Now this first clip, uh, when I turn it on, is just with the suction and I go over it and it, you, you notice it didn't work very well with the suction. And then I turn on the beta bar here and go back over it and you see how fast the beta bar actually helps to pick it up but it just kind of bounces and this is actually litter so this is not the lightest of material so this is cat litter uh, that's a whole other story why there's cat litter on top of this carpet but uh, we had a, uh, the cat just got fixed and so we had the litter upstairs because uh, she had an open wound or whatever and uh, but you can see how well the beater bar does on this carpet like it does real well um, some spots left over are kind of uh, ground in dirt um, so yeah, I mean it's not gonna be perfect it's a cordless vacuum but I think that's pretty good. It did. A, I was quite impressed uh, the job that it did on this particular carpet. Like I say, there's spots left over because those are just uh, kind of ground in stuff. I'll have to go back and look at the carpet, but it basically picked up all the cat litter um, that I saw. And then I just put it on suction mode. You can see the hardwood around there. Of course, the beater uh, may or may not help. It probably doesn't help so much on um, on the hardwood. So here you have a look at the the canister. You can just pop it out one finger, and then you can see how much dirt it collected. So it, it collects a lot more, and it does have a, a level option there. You can see the, the gravel in there from the, the cat litter and the, and the dust bunnies. Worked pretty well. You can buy replacement foam uh, filters for this at the very top, of the unit, which I didn't show. Then to empty it is just a, a one button. I'll just turn the light on. One button click, um, and it pops, pops the door open, and it falls out. So that, it worked really well. So I mean, for a light duty vacuum that you just want to do a quick little uh, cleanup job, maybe in the dining room or something like that, which we have every day uh, with, with three small kids, uh, this is great. And you have company coming over, you whip this thing out, you don't have to worry about uh, long extension cords. Uh, this is a real easy way to kind of quickly clean up the entrance way, uh, and even quicker than uh, you're you know, running the needle robot. If you've got an hour, then you you hit the power, you hit the uh, go button on the Nido robot, and you let the Nido robot go through the house. Uh, if you've got only 10 minutes before them, they come, you can whip this battery unit out and uh, just click quickly clean up the front entrance. So it's really nice. Or if you have some time, you can use both of them. Now the runtime of this is apparently 12 to 15 minutes on a new battery. Uh, so again, this is for spot cleaning. You're not going to do your whole house with this. But if I could convert it over to Makita battery 18 volt, uh, then I could probably get some decent runtime out of it. The, the batteries are 1500 milliamp hour uh, versus you can go up to your 4 amp hour a Makita battery or 5 amp hour. So, anyways, thanks for watching. Neat little uh, find from Value Village here, um, and I probably won't be doing any uh, further videos about this, but I thought I'd show it to you. Uh, because I thought it was a neat find. So thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next video.